This is Ask an Expat with Marcus and Matt from An Expat's Russia, where we answer your questions about what it's like to live, work, and travel in Russia. Hey everyone, in this video we'll talk about how we learned Russian and share some ideas how you can learn Russian better as well. Uh, Matt, you and I had different experiences learning Russian, so we'll jump to yours first and then we'll uh, you know, discuss the differences. Sure. So many people probably get their start learning Russian in a classroom setting. I did not ha have that advantage. Um, the college that I went to did not have a Russian program, um, so I kind of had to learn on my own. So I bought a little Russian grammar book, I think it was called The Penguin Course. Um, and that was really helpful for giving the very basic sort of about grammar and um, there was quite a bit of exercises in there. I would highly recommend the book actually. Um, but <clears throat> one of the things that I found was the easiest to learn Russian was to just immerse yourself in Russian wherever you could. So I turned my phone into Russian. I would try to read only the, the, the news in Russian. I would, when I would go on YouTube, I would try to find videos to watch um, in Russian. And what's great about watching on YouTube actually is that you can actually slow the video down. Um, lots of people don't know this, you can speed it up as well, but you can turn the speed down on the video. So if they're speaking too fast in Russian, you can turn it down and listen to them. Um, if it's actually a Russian channel, um, many of them have Russian subtitles now. Um, I don't think that was a thing when, when I was learning, uh, but you can turn the subtitles down on, you can turn the speed down on the video and you can just watch things in Russian, which was not as possible 10 years ago when, when I was trying to learn Russian. Let, let me ask you real quick, uh, Matt, um, at what point did you start, you know, doing those things before your trip, your first trip or during or after? Okay. So I went to Russia the very first time in 2009. I was a sophomore in college. I knew nothing about Russia, nothing about Russian. It was for a, a course. Um, so I didn't know any Russian when I went, came back. Um, and then I just kind of started learning. Um, so most of all of my learning actually happened before I went to Russia to live. So I started learning. Um, I lived in rural Maine and there were not many Russian speakers. Really, there were none effectively, um, which made it even more difficult. So I had to rely on reading and listening online on the Internet, and yeah. on YouTube and Russian news sites. <clears throat> what I will say um, <clears throat> is that well, actually, I, I fondly remember literally sitting at my first job with headphones in while I was working, just listening to Russian. I could understand probably, I don't know, 20%. I had no idea what was going on. It was just Russian radio. Yeah. I think it was Echo Moskvi. And I would just sit there and I would listen, listen, listen. And they, you know, in the moment, you obviously think, well, there's no way I can learn this by osmosis. But really, every time you listen, you will pick up on a word that you had studied the night before, right? So I would... I would be reading the news, I would see words, and I would start trying to memorize those words. And then I would then listen the next day to the news, and I would hear those same words. And I would think, hmm, okay, well, if I heard it and I read it in two different places, especially multiple times, I would try to write that word down, try to memorize that word specifically. Because if you've heard and read a word in you know short period of time, it's much easier to commit it to memory. And that was kind of my strategy. And then once I got to Russia, I just tried to speak with as many people as possible. I remember going to the bar. I'm not even a huge drinker, but I would go to the bar and I would just talk with people in the bar. It was very easy in the bar because you know, if you have one drink, then you're less yeah. you know, anxious. And then the other people, they've had a lot to drink and they're you know, ready to talk about anything. And I found that, <laughs> honestly, as crazy as it sounds, a pretty good um, scene to, to practice your Russian. Um, I also stayed in a hostel for... Um, about a month when I first got to Moscow and I would just go at dinner time to the like little kitchen room and literally just talk to all the Russians because what's interesting in Russia is that at the hostels you have international travelers but you also have a number of Russians who come into Moscow maybe they're coming for a job interview or whatnot but just typical regular everyday Russians sitting there not you know international people so you can really get a lot of practice there you can talk to the people who work at the hostel they're usually quite receptive to helping people learn Russian and that's what mm -hmm. I did. So I surrounded myself with Russian. I spoke Russian as often as I could. In the U.S. it was more difficult 10 years ago than it is now. Especially if you live in a big city. Now you can find Russians, you know, ev everywhere. Um, then I would watch YouTube in Russian, read the news in Russian. I would um, try to listen to music in Russian. 
Um, and so the more Russian you have around you, the easier it is to just sort of mm -hmm. start learning it. And again, you hear the same words over and over and over again, and then they are at least committed to your um, passive memory. That's what I did. Okay, so yeah, so um, a question I had for you is, did you ever get discouraged during that time? Like, oh, this is so hard, or you know, what am I gonna do? I have no idea where the determination came from. Of course I got discouraged, but there was always the thought in my head that I have to learn Russian. Like, I don't know why I did this, but I just said, <laughs> I am going to learn Russian. I'm going to be a fluent Russian speaker. I don't care what it takes. I've never actually set myself to a goal like I set myself to, to learning Russian. I hope this YouTube channel turns into something like that, but I just was very, very determined. I would not okay, accept, no. Because... And I also, you know what, real quick, what helped me was a lot of people told me, Matt, if you go to Russia, you're going to throw your career away. You're going to, it's going to be a total waste of time. Why would you do that? And I just wanted to go and I wanted to prove them all wrong. I wanted to prove them that Russia was a really cool place and that I was making the right decision by going to Russia. I think that as, was part of it too. As you were explaining your experience, I'm thinking, you know, because I've, I've tried to learn other languages besides, so, you know, I speak English, German, and mm -hmm. now Russian. I tried, one time I tried, uh, uh, was it, no, it wasn't, it was Norwegian, and it's mm -hmm. similar to, to German, in, but I just remember listening to things, right? I, I listened to podcasts or some music, right. and I was just like, this is kind of boring. I, I never really yes. had a tie to Norwegian or any other language except Russian. I, I also had a, a commitment yeah. to learn. And uh, in my experience, um, it was, we'll talk about this in a, in a minute, but um, the way that I started was uh, I kind of just signed up for a, a study abroad to, to Russia for four months. And I was like, okay, I need to go, uh, before I go, I need to learn something. So I, I right. memorized the alphabet. I knew some f very basic phrases, but I was kind of, relying on the experience in Russia to learn Russian because it just didn't really mean anything to me in the US like I, I had right. no friends who were who were Russian I knew one person but I right I had no connection to Russian at all so for me it meant it made more sense to actually start speaking and start the learning process m mostly in Russia um, so well, I, had I will classes say every Real quick, I think that's a great point. Um, I've met a lot of people who say, I want to learn Russian. And I ask them, have you been to Russia? Do you like Russia? And they're like, no, I've never, never been to Russia. Well, I, yeah, I would go to Russia. Um, you know, we host a language exchange every Thursday at 8 p.m. Moscow time. And there was a guy one time who came and just said, eh, you know, I just want to learn Russian. Well, I think Russian is a difficult enough language that you can't just learn it without it sort of burning desire I think inside right over i think time, that's what we're getting to motivation will just you know drop exactly because you don't really you're you're not committed yeah. right so i think that's that's a very big point to stress right here is that to learn any language really but russian specifically because it's more difficult than most you have to really want to desire is very very important mm -hmm. um so when i was in russia the first time it, it was tough um, to, to, you know, learn new words and say them and, in a way that people wouldn't, you know, look at you weird, like, what are you talking about? Um, so you have to get over that, that initial, like, you're going to look silly, you're going to look dumb right. sometimes. But I had some great teachers there for, for the semester I was there, and I would stay after class, chit chat, and, and try new phrases that I learned before. I'd try to impress them and didn't really work very, very much. But I was, I was really excited to actually use it for something that made sense. Right. Um, and at, after four months, I didn't know how I was going to learn Russian to a high level if I didn't go back. So right. I, I, that was pretty much my, the time when I committed to go back to Russia, spend more time there. And um, you know, I would study. I, later, I went on a mission to Russia, and we'd study in the morning, and I'd go out and talk and, and practice the things that I studied. And 
So I guess, you know, both of our experiences show that we, we made the commitment, although it was, you know, in the beginning, it was, we didn't really know where it was going, but, uh, right. Yeah. I mean, you just have to have a desire and be proactive about it, I think is really the, the basis or fundamental level, um, of commitment you need for, for Russian. Right. That's what I would suggest. Um, I wanted to get into, you know, the differences of our approach, because I think there are lots of different, you know, types of, of learners. There's, you know, uh, right. maybe more for, for me to, if I want to learn a word or a phrase, it, um, it's so much easier if I write it down and I see myself writing it down. Whereas I know some people right. who could just hear it and remember it. And I'm like, I need to write it down. So, um, but you kind of took this approach where you're, you know, um, you're listening, you're reading things, and then you practice, practice, practice. Whereas right. I was, um, in order to really get the Russian structure down of, of cases and grammar and endings, I had to study and, and kind of memorize them, apply them, and through applying them in speech and talking to people, that's really where I kind of set that structure in my head and then I could plug in right. any verb or, or, or noun and, uh, you know, speak, uh, use, use grammar uh, correctly. Right. Right. One other piece of advice I would give real quick is that you have to have a native speaker. Well, maybe you don't have to, I've known people who have done it without it, but both Marcus and I are married to Russians and obviously have been in a relationship with Russian women for a number of years. Um, having a native speaker around all the time absolutely helps. Um, and, but one of the things that a lot of people get sort of in trouble with is that if you start speaking English with someone who's Russian, it becomes very difficult after say a year, once your Russian gets better to actually switch. Mm -hmm. So that's something we can talk about in another video. Right. Right. Okay. But, well, uh, that's pretty much how, how we learned Russian. Tell us how you are learning Russian in the comments below, and uh, we'd like to uh, help you along that journey. Right. And if you have specific questions, let us know. We'll make another video. See this was Ask an Expat with Marcus and Matt from An Expat's Russia. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have a question about Russia, let us know in the comments. We'll answer it in another video.